Hey guys, it's me Grant. Welcome back to The Run Around. It is 6.30 on a Saturday morning, and why are we awake? Well, I'm gonna try and tell you a long story as short as possible. It's not a big secret that I'm a big fan of music, and the band Foo Fighters. Years ago, I went to Austin City Limits Music Festival, and I saw them, and they were great. I had no idea that about 50 feet away from me was someone that I had not yet met who would soon become one of my best friends. You've seen her before in these videos, her name is Lisa. She has a solid group of friends who have since become my friends too. And today, we are all going up to Dallas to have a barbecue with none other than Dave Grohl. A few weeks ago, Lisa comes up to me and she smacks me in the chest. She goes, dude! I'm like, what? She goes, we gotta buy these tickets right now. I'm like, why? So. She tells me that we have to buy tickets to go to the, you know, the Zack Sabbath show that we went to? Um, we had to go to that so that we could get tickets to this barbecue. And Dave Grohl is going to be catering or cooking the barbecue. He does that. So this morning, we're hitting the road with Sandra, Letty, Vanessa, Francis, and of course, Lisa. We're heading up to Dallas. We're gonna meet up with Christine, Dave, and Annette. We're gonna go have some barbecue. Come on, let's get in the van, let's hit the road. Now, I don't own a Harley, but I now know that Harley Davidson gives out free beer on Saturdays. Goddamn. documentary it always is if you're with this dude and with freaking <laughs> vanessa as well vanessa likes to film me doing stupid shit in the life of lisa this is where it happens at the <laughs> liquor store people searching for the solo cup oh yay does it matter which one no dude get the big bag good time sally Yes, no. Don't forget about me, Barney. What do you need? Whiskey, please. Hey, oh. you're adorable. Oh. Uh, wait, wait, here, wait, wait. Okay. I have markers. Look at me like. Street. I need a big, oh, strong mate. Here, my hair. I'm from California, but I'm a Texan today. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. Sprite and vodka. Cheers. Y'all light them up. Come on, drink them up. One, two, barbecue. <laughs> Fortress, man, get you some food. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't, I don't, I can't do this right now. Dave Grohl's over there yeah, cooking right. meat. So we're at Dime's house yes. where Dave Grohl is cooking yes. a barbecue. Yes. I mean, that's, that's, that's weird shit, man. Yeah, it's weird shit. Vanessa just talked to him like nothing else, like nobody's business. I talked to Dave Grohl. <laughs> you go talk to him? If I can, I, I know I'm gonna cry, so I need to calm down. Okay. All right. We'll calm down. There's a guy called Dave Grohl over there. He's in a band who will never make it, but he's a really good barbecue man. <laughs> this man came here yesterday. He worked till like eight in the morning preparing this. Let's hear for Dave and his crew. <laughs> I will not Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell? I yeah. I love Dave's meat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
Well, I've been around this world and I've seen the world. I'll still fade the black girl. Hold on. Hey now. Hey now. Wait a minute. I thought I dropped my pitch. Feels good though. Down lower, 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 lower. Behind the neck. Wait, wait, no, but it's real hot down there. Thank you. You want me to do you? I'll do you. Yeah. All right. Did you sign it? Go away. Did you sign it? Okay. <laughs> Dude, last night I had a dream I went to Dime's house for a barbecue and Dave Girl was catering. Give me a break, Best right? Day I'll pull down your fucking shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just got like barbecue and everything else from Dave Girl and a tattoo, and goddamn. Tattoos! Tattoo right there. We're gonna go get a fucking tattoo. Sick, dude. I'm cool with that. It's... Do you feel it? Yeah. Feels like a tattoo. So I got this sign by David Eric Roll from the Foo Fighters. Man, I'm super stoked. I got this a year and a half ago. The shirt? Yeah, the shirt. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I finally got it signed by him. Yeah. How strange was today to be at a barbecue? It was strange, but in like the best way possible. Like, right. It was just. A lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to meet him. I knew he would be there, yeah. but I didn't think we would get to say hi or get a picture or his signature, etc. So it was the best. What do you think you're gonna do to try and top? Today? I don't think you can, man. Right? I don't think so. So last time I thought I peaked was when I went to the Louisiana show, Bossier City, last year. Oh, okay. So he saw me wearing the shirt. And he called me out in front of 20,000 people. That's good. You're a uh, Lord Drizzle. Lord Drizzle. That was me, yeah. And somebody got a video of it, and I'm like, this is it. Like, I can't get better. And then I talked it today. I mean, so, like, give me a break, right? Right. It's even better, even more intimate and amazing. So, I don't think you can talk today. I think that's it, man. I could die tomorrow and be happy. I do just like that. Now, it looks like somebody shit on my arm. I think I want But. <laughs> Dude, sorry. Hello, what's going on? And I take it this is the first time you've met anybody in this vehicle? Yes. Well, we, no, we met for two seconds. It doesn't well, count. We didn't meet me, but we met. She met me. I didn't meet her. I don't remember. I met you. What? I remember walking in front of people at the Louisiana Face show with Dick. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, and I walked in front of her and Annette. You were directly to my shoulder. Say, yeah. Say, well, say, yeah. I was fucking excited. <laughs> yeah. All your dreams right. came true. You almost chickened out too, little right, bitch. I know. Need a little more. <laughs> <laughs> this is a baby girl. A baby girl. A baby bird. A baby bird. That is she. You want to spit it in her mouth? How old is she? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm saying that. I'm gonna. What I can't that? be. I killed because. You shut up. Let me have a sip. I'll we'll fuck see. you. Yeah, the rest of that. Dude, this is gonna be like Sandlot. We're gonna puke all over the place. Fuck off, dude. Take it, take <laughs> it, take it. Dude, today could not get any stranger. Now, we're at a fucking carnival, and we're about to get on this carnival ride called the Zipper. Yes. You ready for the Zipper? I'm not, but no. we're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm very afraid of heights, but we're gonna do it. Me too, man. I should get out. I should get out. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going out to the Black Falls in front of you guys. How I'm gonna get sick. Today? You ready to die? Yeah. Ah! 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 We're only like a hundred feet up, but we're not even moving. Shit! They're gonna flip us like a zipper. I fucking hate this ride. Why did I do this? <laughs> ah! Oh, you're a motherfucker! Oh. Ah! I like the zipper. No. Oh shit! No. Oh, you motherfucker! No, <laughs> you okay? I'll take that for you. No Metallica for you! I'm sorry.
we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I did not regret it until just now. Yeah, same. Can we jump up? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a little faster than I thought it was going to be. Oh, goddamn. All right. At this point, our eyes are closed, and we are counting every single second until this ride comes to a full and complete stop. You all right? Yep. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. That ride fucked me up. <laughs> I'm sweating my ass off. I dry heaved more than I like to admit. It was not good. <laughs> but it wasn't over yet. About 15 minutes after that camera turned off, lights out. Done. I just feel sorry for the poor kid who had to watch what happened at the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. But that's all done and behind us now. So who's hungry? Let's go get some food. Oh, shit.